Hello guys, in this part of our How It Works series, what is CVT transmission? What does it do? What are its benefits and harms? I will talk about these. To support our channel and see more content similar to this one, you can subscribe and like the video before continuing. Don't forget to turn on notifications. Let's move on. CVT is a type of automatic transmission that stands for Continuously Variable Transmission. Unlike traditional automatic transmissions, CVTs change gear ratios continuously rather than gradually. In this way, they offer a smoother and fuel-efficient driving experience. CVTs are compared to manual transmissions as well as traditional automatic transmissions. In traditional automatic transmissions, gear ratios are changed using shift gears. They are less smooth and less fuel-efficient than CVTs. In manual transmissions, gear ratios are changed manually by the driver. They provide greater driver involvement than CVTs, but are more difficult to operate. The biggest difference from them is that they all have first, second, third, or more gears, and each of them has a corresponding gear group. At the heart of the CVT are two cone-shaped pulleys and the metal belt or chain between them. One of these pulleys is connected to the engine and the other to the wheels. The diameters of the pulleys are constantly adjusted by changing the position of the belt or chain. In this way, an infinite number of gear ratios are achieved between engine speed and wheel speed. To change the gear ratios, the tapered walls of these pulleys move closer and further away from each other. When the two walls move closer to each other and move away, the chain or belt is also pushed outwards and it becomes a larger gear. On the opposite pulley, the opposite happens, that is, as one closes, the other opens, and the other side now becomes a smaller gear. This situation is constantly changing. This is exactly where CVT means continuously variable transmission. This transmission's ability to switch to different ratios without limit is achieved with the support of the electronic control unit, as in other automatic transmissions, with the contributions of today's technology. If you ask what advantages this type of transmission has, it provides a comfortable driving experience in CVTs thanks to smooth gear shifts. CVTs save fuel by keeping the engine in its most efficient rev range at all times. And this means less emissions. Along with fuel savings, emissions also decrease. Another advantage is that it is very simple to use, as there is no process such as gear selection in CVTs. Since you can constantly change the ratio, the car can accelerate while the engine speed is constant and vice versa. So, if you need a sudden acceleration and you press the gas hard, this transmission can bring the engine speed to 4000 RPM, keep it constant there and accelerate you. If the engine gives its maximum torque at 4000 RPM. In addition, when you are driving in traffic, especially in stop and go situations, in manual transmission vehicles at low speeds, the vehicle screams in first gear and may not pull in second gear and you wish there was an intermediate gear, CVD comes to your rescue here. Since it can create a theoretically infinite number of gear ratios, it adjusts the ratios according to your needs. The same principle applies when driving on the highway, that is, when your speed is constant, the RPM is constant, but you wanted to accelerate slightly and did not press the gas too much, the RPM remains constant and you can accelerate slowly. If we look at the disadvantages, the biggest disadvantage of this system is that CVDs are expensive compared to traditional automatic transmissions, and some CVDs are more susceptible to wear and tear, especially in high-torque engines. Therefore, CVT transmission maintenance should be performed less frequently than conventional automatic transmissions. It is important to change the transmission fluid regularly and not to overload the transmission. In old versions, kinetic energy was transferred by belt. The belt cannot withstand very high torques. That's why this type of transmission is generally not preferred in vehicles with high torque. In new type CVT transmissions, chains are mostly used instead of belts. For example, it has been shown that a chain can be used instead of a belt by using a multitronic transmission in the Audi 2.0 TDI. This is a more robust system, but it is not preferred like DSG or standard gradual transmissions. In general, CVD transmissions are still used in Japanese manufacturers, Subaru, and Honda, but in terms of driving feel, some drivers think that CVDs offer a less exciting driving feeling compared to traditional automatic transmissions. Since it has a very compact and small structure, this type of transmission is used in many scooters. It is easier to use this instead of graduated rates. Since the torque expectation in motorcycles is low, 
belt CVD transmissions work without any problems. We sometimes see the term 7 or 8 gear CVT in vehicle promotions. These are not ratio transmissions. They are transmissions that can provide an infinite number of gear ratios. As you know, some automatic vehicles have paddles on the sides of the steering wheel. Since people are used to the levels, when you press the paddles to change gear in manual mode, the system takes you directly to the predetermined ratios, as if there were first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth gear, thanks to the control unit. So there is no gear group inside, you just switch between predetermined states of these ratios. In this way, it feels like a standard double clutch, or as if it has switched between ratios like with a torque converter. As a result, CVT transmissions are used in many different vehicles today. It is especially common in small and mid-range gasoline cars. CVT is also used in some hybrid and electric vehicles. CVT technology is constantly being improved and becoming even more efficient and robust. In the future, CVDs are expected to become more widely used and replace traditional automatic transmissions. New types of CVDs are being developed and existing CVDs are becoming even more efficient and robust. With developing technology, gear shifts in CVT transmissions can be made automatically or using manual mode. In some CVT transmissions, the most appropriate gear ratio is automatically selected according to driving conditions using artificial intelligence. Thanks for watching. What are your thoughts on this subject? You can comment your thoughts below, like the video, and subscribe to our channel to support us and watch more content like this.